And the Davidson County Sheriff's Office is meeting with the district attorney going over evidence in an animal cruelty case. 16 horses were seized from the Sun and Moon Ranch in Lexington last week. WXII 12's Louis Tran joins us live from the Sheriff's Office with the latest now. Louis. Yeah, good afternoon, Lindsay. A leader with the Sheriff's Office tells me that they have given witness statements, evidence, and a vet's assessment of the horse's injuries to the DA's office. And right now, charges are still pending. But a sergeant tells me that animal cruelty cases recently have also been on the rise. We need to be concerned. Davidson County Crime Prevention Sergeant Chris Azelton is urging residents to watch for distressed animals, especially in the blistering hot temperatures in the summer season. When we look at animals, uh, you know, we want to make sure that they're taken care of, they're fed, they're watered. Sergeant Azelton says that the number of animal cruelty cases has recently gone up. Last week, 16 horses were seized from a ranch in Lexington. He says it's much more difficult to care for animals with the current economy. While a number of owners may have positive intentions, the outcomes at times result in a negative situation. I think some people may get in a situation where they want to take care of the animals uh, and they may even take in more animals than they can take care of. Uh, a lot of times it's not the people that have the animals, it's just the situation that they're put in. And to make sure that these situations are prevented, Sergeant Azelton is urging owners to ask for help if they need it and for residents to always be on the lookout for our four-legged friends in distress. We want people to be vigilant. Last week, Davidson County Sheriff Richie Simmons tells me that a couple of the horses were malnourished. Some had injuries on their hooves, and a couple were listed in serious condition. And right now, those horses are being kept at a safe place as they recover. In Davidson County, I'm Louis Tran, WXII 12 News.